for maybe people who aren't super familiar with liquid staking and things like that, like what is, why do I want to own Puff? How do I get Puff? And is it in relationship at all to the Metamorphosis campaign or that's something completely separate? Yeah, sure. Let me try and organize uh, everything so it makes sense and people can comprehend it. First of all, you can easily buy Puff by having either Mantle ETH, we call it METH. It's the equivalent of Stake Ethereum, but on the Mantle chain, hence the name METH, right? Yep. So you can use that on our DEX at paththedragon.xyz. You can find that. And maybe we can share some links to people at the end down below. You can use USDT, both of which can be bridged either from another layer two or layer one uh, Ethereum, or you can also bridge from, I believe uh, Bybit is the only centralized exchange that allows that. So that would be the way people would access Puff, right? Now, so far, people were able to use Mantle Stake ETH, Meth, on at Puff, and they would get a vial for it. So if you staked or bonded your Puff, which is the native token of the protocol, you receive the potions. Whereas if you were staking or bonding your meth, mantle stake ETH again, you would be getting a vial. And right now for chapter six, there won't be a vial. So it'll be just puff is needed to mint the, the potion and make the ultimate decision. And to dovetail it to cook, which is going to be the governance token of mantle's liquid staking protocol and liquid restaking protocol so then meth meth which exists right now and cmeth which will come later on right the government token for that protocol will be called cook and a portion of the let's say a portion of an allocation to the community for the cook token will go towards puff we don't know what percentage uh, at this point in time stay tuned for more details but that is how Puff relates to Cook uh, indi indirectly through the metamorphosis campaign, which doesn't really require you to do anything with your Puff, right? But you could consider Puff as being season zero of the Cook airdrop yeah, uh, allocation, distribution. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So basically, you can <clears throat> earn Cook through the metamorphosis campaign, supplying ME right. places, or you can get yourself some Puff you know, go through the adventures and things like that and make the decision. And then if you have vials or you can't get vials now, but you will, the Mantle Foundation is basically allocating some cook for the Puff project itself. That is correct. There was a proposal, I believe a few weeks ago where it closed and that is what was voted. And perhaps that's another good document, document that we can link uh, to the good people here so they can do more research on it. And yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah, we're always willing to share. We're always willing to share documents and things that, you know, just going to help people navigate the space. I just sometimes I think that there's so much on so many different chains and it already is a niche sort of, you know, you go ask most people in real life, hey, what do you know about DeFi? Nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's like there's got to be some point of starting mechanism, whether it's blending Web 2 with Web 3. And of course, you're always going to have your trend setters if you will or you know the people who are willing to take more risk that kind of just jump into this space not knowing anything about it oh i'll learn it you know there's that portion of the population but now we're shifting to where they're refining things and you know just making the space better as a whole i think you need people who are willing to take that risk but then also turn around and help other people kind of come on board so because yeah. not everybody's risk adverse in, in that sense. You know, they want to know that there's Google behind it or, you know, these big companies before they feel comfortable getting involved. Mm -hmm.